is food around here, buddy. Hey, look! Someone left their dinner for us! I knew it. My nose never lies. Raza. The mutant wolf has many different incarnations. From the 1987 version all the way to the 2012 version, I'm going to rank each adaptation from worst to best. And remember, this is my opinion, so let's agree to disagree and let me know how you rank them on the comments below. What up, Geektron here, and if you love the turtles and 90s and early 2000s related, consider subscribing. Coming dead last to me is The Secret of the Ooze comic. Yes, The Secret of the Ooze had a comic book version. And to me, Razar in the comic book was horrible. And to me, the design was hot garbage. He looked like that puppet Alf. Coming up next, we got the IDW Razar. This version was okay. This version was an infant mutant, just like The Secret of the Ooze that was detained in the mutant animal headquarters and was recruited by Karai. The design to me was alright. He doesn't look menacing. Looks more like something you want to cuddle with. Upgraded by analyzing the mutagen that infected Han, we have successfully engineered our own mutant army. <laughs> Coming up next, we got the 2003 version of Raza. This version appeared in Turtle Forever movie when, when we get to see him getting mutated to fight for both Shredder. He attacked the party wagon but gets pummeled and knocked out of the vehicle by the power weapons. This version design was awesome, but unfortunately, we didn't get enough of him. You little twerps better leave my friend alone. <laughs> Leonardo, give that creep a manicure! The claw is mightier than the sword. Coming up next, we got the 1987 version of Razar. This one was pretty decent. He only appeared in one episode, Shredder Unleashed, mutagen at the zoo, causing animals to mutate, including Razar. He was out of control terrorizing the mall. This version was more intelligent than the Secret of the Ooze version. And to me, the design was all right, not my favorite. Go play, have fun. Coming up next, we got the Secret of the Ooze Razar. This is the classic, the OG version, the most useless version to be honest, and was created by Shredder trying to create powerful mutants as his minions, and ended up with baby mutants. The design was great and is definitely a classic. Coming up next, we got the Amazing Adventure comic book. This version of Razar was a continuation of the 2012 show, and to me this version was pretty dang good. The only thing I didn't like was the design they didn't transfer well to the comic book from TV. And before we get to our number one, here's what you guys voted at GeekTronPlus.com. Tied at last place, Amazing Adventure version, 1987 in the Secret of the Ooze comic. Tied at third place, the IDW 2003 version. Coming in at second, 22%. The OG Secret of the Ooze coming at number one with a whopping 73%. The 2012 Razar. I feel the mutagen coursing through me. I'm faster, stronger, more powerful than ever. I feel like a ninja. And coming in at number one to me, the 2012 version. This version of Razar is amazing and started as. Chris Bradford, one of Shredder's henchmen that was mutated twice. Yes, twice. First, he was mutated into the mutant known as Dog Pound, which to me was a terrible design. Didn't really like that one. And then he got mutated again to a morph wolf type creature. And this mutation came out awesome. Loved the design and the character development was definitely the best one we ever got. 
So what you think of my ranking? Let me know in the comments below and if you enjoyed this video, make sure to smash that like button and if you're new to this channel, subscribe for more videos just like this one. Thanks. Yes, caray, another excellent villain pun. <clears throat> Stop kissing, bud. <laughs>